hi y'all she was seven thanks for coming back to my channel okay yes again i got this dark look on today because i had to record it from a makeup channel so and that's what you're gonna ask for the first question there's your answer okay so this video today is gonna be about the comments that i keep seeing that men make about women who expect a lot uh they want to call you a prostitute and they want to say oh you're just a prostitute or being married to a man for his money you're just a legal prostitute or whatever i'm going to address this question because a lot of people seem to try to use this to put women down first of all a prostitute is one of the oldest professions so uh, <laughs> or is the oldest profession so we were the first professional people women were the first professionals okay so they had their business together they had stuff in order they knew how to get what they wanted out of life okay because obviously it was valuable okay and to be able to start this as a profession means that something has to be high in demand right so of course they could get away with making money from having sex okay the first woman who probably came up with this idea hey let's charge for sex because obviously it's very high in demand and we can get money if we charge for it okay so that's what they started doing okay and the women who did not charge for it uh you know they could have you know they could have but they didn't they gave it away for free and uh, usually, you know, a lot of the women that made it into a profession, you know, they weren't married. They didn't have, um, you know, any type of, you know, thing against it. They needed money. They said, hey, y'all want this. Y'all have money. Less exchange. Okay. So fast forward thousands of years later into present day. Now men will go out with women. And if they spend any money on them, they're expecting sex in return. So that means they see all women as prostitutes. So if you're seen as a prostitute and you go on a date and they pay for you, they're going to expect sex, right? So it's not all men. I'm not saying all men. I'm just saying some of these guys that don't have a lot of money and want if they're going to take you to Applebee's and spend $35 they want something in return okay these type of guys i'm not talking about other guys i'm talking about these type of guys so if you're with those type of guys that only want to spend money to get sex in return skip dinner skip that cheap ass nasty food that you're probably going to regret eating later anyway and tell him straight up look i know you're the type of guy who um is only paying because you want sex okay so here's the deal <laughs> $35 from Applebee dinner is not enough if you want you know to seriously date me and get and, and get to know me let's do that okay I'm, I'm not gonna fall for you know if I buy you some cheap dinner you're gonna have sex with me that's not the person I am okay um I know what you're after and if that's the only reason you're dating me and taking me out then let's just end it here okay let's just end it and I don't even want to date you okay now some men will say well if you marry for money you're just a prostitute okay well if you marry for uh, love and money then what are you a loving prostitute <laughs> um, if something is high in demand and you don't profit off of it you're just dumb okay so I'm not saying ladies go out and be a prostitute I'm saying don't give it away free Make them work for it at least. Okay, so maybe you don't take money. Maybe you take gifts. Maybe you take time spent, like lots of time spent, you know. Some women are clingy about time and they say, oh, I just want to stay with you the whole day and the whole night. You know, I just want to spend time together. I want to take you to meet my family. I'll, you know, a lot of women like time spent. So if that's going to go towards your fee, I always say like to have a, a limit or a price. If that's gonna go towards you being able to sleep with him the more time he spends with you then by all means use it to your advantage you know um, some women like to 
have a lot of affection, you know, a lot of public affection. Go out in public and hold hands and kiss and like that. Da, 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 da. A lot of women like that. Okay, so all women don't want to get paid with money or cash or gifts. They like time, energy, uh, you know, affections and all that kind of stuff. Some women don't even get turned on by cash or money, you know, or material things. It, it's the little things. But a lot of men don't want to be also paying those type of prices like oh she wants me to spend too much time with her oh she wants me to skip the game to go do this with her so a lot of women would demand time from their men and so a man will get upset and be like I don't want to do that but what if what if you were with a woman who demanded money from you I mean you gotta you gotta pick and choose like do you want someone that values your time or your wallet okay so man when y'all call us prostitutes we don't care it's not even an insult anymore we already know we have the most valuable commodity on the planet though the oldest commodity on the planet that people are still after in high demand unless you know they're into something else so we already know it's valuable and we can use it to get what we want okay and it's not a bad thing it's a good thing because if we didn't have it, you wouldn't even be pursuing us. You wouldn't even pursue us if we didn't have it, okay? If we did not have what we have, you wouldn't even talk to us. Most men don't like women. They like sex, okay? Let's just put it out there. Most men don't like women. They like sex. So, ladies, if you're trying to get to know a man, don't rush off to have sex with him. You know, make him work for it. It's it's yours and you put the value, the price, the expiration date on it. You put it all on there. That's yours. And you don't let people tell you when you're supposed to give it up, how you're supposed to give it up, for how much you're supposed to give it up, why you should give it up, why you shouldn't give That's your choice, okay? And a lot of men will try to make you feel bad for using it as a weapon. But it's not really a weapon if the other person does not see it as a weapon you know if that's his weakness then of course it's a weapon to him so this is all how they perceive you if they perceive you as just sex then sex can be used as a weapon if they love you for you and really want to get to know you that's secondary and it's not even going to be brought up until you bring it up it's your choice do you understand just imagine this okay so if you're a woman and you're going out on a date with a guy. You're not trying to see, oh, when are we going to sleep together? Because I'm here spending my precious time with you. When are you going to give it up to me? You know, women aren't like that. They're like, they want to get to know someone. They're in it for the real deal. You know, most women who get readings from me are like, oh, is he the one? Is he my true love? And this, 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 and that, right? They want the long term. They want the love okay but they don't want to be tricked they don't want to be used they don't want to be seen as just sex so they have to put a price tag a limit a, you know something you can't give something away free or else nobody's gonna really want it anymore you know so you they're gonna have to put in work um, and men when I get readings uh, you know when I give readings to men they always want to know after it's too late how can I get her back or um, <clears throat> Is she seeing someone else? They're very territorial and very jealous. And, you know, even months after you break up with somebody, they're still trying to get back together. So, ladies, you do have a big impact on men. They're not going to tell you. They're not going to show you. But they do. They do value it very, very much. Okay? Uh, a lot of men will say, no, we don't care. We don't care. But they're on these videos. They're on other women videos they are talking to each other about women so it's like a main subject to them so obviously it's very important to them and you know they wake up thinking about why they don't want a woman but really if you didn't want a woman you wouldn't be thinking about women you'd be thinking about something totally different you know they'll hop on videos they'll hop on um, facebook and they'll go to trolling and that's the only way they actually really get to talk to women it's by trolling on them. So don't even pay attention to that. Know your worth. If they call you a prostitute, say, okay, Ann, you think I'm going to give it up for free? Are you joking? No, it's very valuable, and it's valuable to me. So if you want something from me, you're going to have to work for it. I'm not giving it away for free, okay? 
So yes, call it a prostitute, marriage, call, call, call marriage prostitution, legal form of prostitution, okay? Because you can't get it for free anywhere else, <laughs> okay? And it, women, if you are giving it up free, you're devaluing yourself and you're making men see you only as sex, okay? If they have to work for something and put in effort towards something, they're going to value it. If they have to invest in something, they're not going to be so quick to leave. You know what I mean? But if they hit it and quit it, there's nothing there for them to stay for. They've already got it. There's no investment. They haven't gotten to know you. There's no time spent. There's no money invested, no money spent on you. They don't feel like they've wasted anything. So when you don't put a price on yourself and you don't put an expiration date on when you're going to sleep with this person or not, it has to be your decision. When you don't do it, you devalue yourself. Okay? I would rather be called a prostitute than a cheap slut. Okay? Any day. Because a prostitute is what? Paid. Okay? And they have nice things. And they don't want for anything. Okay? Even if they're married and their husband knows that in order to keep their wife happy, that she has to have, you know, bills paid. You know, that he needs to contribute. He needs to give her spending money. You know, things have to be nice. And then he'll get what he wants. You know, happy wife, happy life. Yes. We, I don't mind when y'all write in the comments that, oh, that's just prostitution. Hell yeah, it's prostitution, okay? It's the oldest profession. And if that's what y'all wanna label it, label it, but it's perfectly legal, okay? Now, if I go out to uh, Brazil, real prostitution is legal there, okay? In Brazil, it's legal to prostitute yourself because it's seen as a means of money because it is high in demand and everyone knows this, okay? That's why they have the sex, the sex uh, trade business because it's high in demand, okay? Now, to, to come back here and try to get it for free, you have to be talking to fools, okay? Most women who are young and think you're the one or just like to be flattered or drunk and have making poor decisions, they will give it away for free. But smart women, they always have a price. It could be time, effort, money, gifts, whatever, but you're not getting it free. If people are committing crimes to trade, you know, and have a sex slave trade uh, business and prostitution is legal in, in Brazil and other countries, Amsterdam and, and some parts of Las Vegas or Nevada, do you think I'm going to give anything up for free when it's very high in demand, even, uh, you know, illegally done? because it's so high in demand. No, man. No, you can't trick us out of what's valuable. We know you want it. We know you'll pay for it. And if you don't, you're still trying to trick people and you're wasting your time. You're spending your time trying to figure out how to get it for free, okay? You're like one of those extreme couponers for sex. <laughs> you gotta figure out how to get it for free using codes and, uh, you know, uh, coupon codes and double coupons and going on the day that you know buy one get one free yes y'all have to do all that so it all adds up to you spending your time anyway because time is money right so don't come on my channel talking about being married is legal prostitution and y'all are just prostitutes you know what y'all can call it whatever you want but at the end of the day we get what we want and that's the most important